Good evening. It is the aftermath of a deadly I-40 car crash. Two people changing a flat tire hit by a suspected drunk driver. A woman killed in that crash that happened January 21st of this year. We now have the lapel video of the first officers arriving on scene. Here's News 13's Ariana Kraft with the suspect's reaction. Uh, this crash is terrible. As APD officers showed up to the scene of a three-vehicle car crash on I-40 near mile mark 154, they found Raimundo Jaquez Barriasco. That's my baby though. Look at, look at my check, bro. The 31-year-old is visibly upset that his red GMC pickup truck is totaled. Do they give you their insurance? Who? Them? These guys right here. Uh, I haven't got it yet. Because my truck's that's know, my baby right now. Yeah. The criminal complaint states a man and a woman were parked in the right emergency lane changing a tire on January 21st when a little after 3 a.m. a red truck driven by Jaquez Barriasco slammed into the cars. He admitted to drinking alcohol that night. How is it my fault that I'm trying to get off that lane to my left? And you know, that's not for me to determine that. For, that's fine. That's fine. That's I, just wanna, I just want to make sure these guys are not hurt. And then they want to play big time. According to AFR, the woman's legs were pinned and they nearly had to amputate them to get her out. She was transported to UNM Hospital where she later died. The man was also taken to the hospital for bleeding in his brain. As far as I know, there's a couple of hurt people right now. I can see how they hurt, but I, I can't see how it's my fault. On scene, Jaquez Barriasco doesn't seem to understand the severity of his actions. Well, I just want to make sure they don't want to blame it on me. Reality starts to sink in as he sits in handcuffs. He quietly listens as an officer updates him on the victim's injuries. One of those individuals was killed as a result of their injuries that you caused during the crash. The second person is still in critical condition at UNM Hospital with bleeding of their brain and multiple facial fractures. Jaquez Barriasco was charged with one count of homicide by motor vehicle, DWI, and one count of great bodily harm by a motor vehicle, DWI. Ariana Kraft, CARE, QE News 13. A judge granted the state's request to keep Raimundo Jaquez Barriasco behind bars until trial. That trial has been set for November 13th.